for decades, we thought we understood the story. The Big Bang, expansion, the slow, delicate dance of galaxies and stars being born from nothingness. But what if I told you that everything we thought we knew is now hanging by a thread? Join us on an enigmatic journey to unveil another intriguing why. Behind this discovery, James Webb Telescope just shook the world. Because the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful machine ever built to look into the past, has just captured something no one was ready for. Clusters of stars too dense, black holes too massive, ancient structures too organized to fit into our perfect little model of how the universe began. This isn't just a glitch. This isn't a single cosmic accident. It's a growing storm of evidence pointing to a chilling possibility that the universe didn't start with the Big Bang, or at least not the way we always believed. It started with something almost too quiet to notice. Decades ago, telescopes like Spitzer detected a huge dust cloud surrounding the star Beta Pictoris, a sign of a massive collision, the kind of cosmic violence that shapes planets and stars. It was supposed to be a lasting monument to that chaos. But when James Webb turned its eye back to Beta Pictoris, the cloud was simply gone. No thermal signature, no lingering particles. It's as if the event never happened. Scientists offer cautious explanations. The dusk dispersed, cooled, and faded. But the speed and completeness of its disappearance defy everything we know. And that was only the beginning. In the depths of Jupiter's great red spot, Webb uncovered structures that no one had ever seen. Gravitational waves twisting the atmosphere in patterns that hint at forces we barely understand. It's as if the universe, long massed in layers of chaos and distance, is now pulling back the veil, showing us a reality that was always there, but hiding in plain sight. When Webb looked even further into the universe's supposed childhood, things got even stranger. Where there should have been formless clouds of gas, raw and chaotic, Webb found star clusters, dense, organized, glowing fiercely in the darkness, in a galaxy formed just 460 million years after the Big Bang. Webb spotted not just one, but five compact star clusters, each one too dense, too mature, too perfect, and nearby, three red, ancient stars shimmered with a light that should have taken billions of years to grow, except, according to the timeline, the universe wasn't even a billion years old yet. How can ancient stars exist when the cosmos itself was supposed to be a newborn? But perhaps the most mind-bending discovery was the detection of supermassive black holes, each one ten times larger than Sagittarius A, the monster at the center of our Milky Way. Born just 600 million years after the beginning, their existence is, by every law of physics we know, impossible unless something much older was already at work long before we thought time itself had truly begun. Imagine a galaxy a thousand times smaller than the Milky Way, yet somehow containing the same amount of matter, all its stars, all its gas, all its cosmic dust, crushed into an impossibly tight space, at its heart a black hole, so vast and so close that if you lived inside that galaxy, you would see a brilliant, terrifying ring in your sky, bigger and brighter than the full moon. Scientists aren't just confused by this, they are stunned. Because if galaxies could form like this in the young universe, the question is why did they stop? What changed? Why did cosmic creation slow down after such an explosive, unimaginable start? Uh, one leading... Astronomer put it bluntly, this is the strangest and most interesting set of objects I've seen in my entire career. For the universe to look like this, so soon after its supposed birth, there would need to be 
a new exotic mechanism of formation, one that bends the rules we thought were unbreakable, one we have never, ever seen before. As these the cosmic anomalies pile up, one radical question is rising among the world's top minds. What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning? What if black holes, these dense, timeless titans, didn't form after the explosion, but survived it? Enter the theory of the oscillating universe, an endless cycle of expansions and collapses. If the previous universe collapsed into a singularity, some black holes might have weathered the storm, carrying with them the seeds of a brand new cosmos. If that's true, then the ancient impossible structures Webb is detecting aren't new at all. They're survivors, echoes of a universe that lived, died, and was reborn. If that's true, then the James Webb Space Telescope isn't just looking at the past, it's looking beyond the beginning. It's uncovering a memory so ancient, so powerful, that it rewrites our entire place in the cosmos. And the most chilling part? This might just be the beginning of a revelation that no one is truly ready to face. Until now, our understanding of the universe rested on a delicate balance, a model stitched together over decades, patched and reworked to fit every discovery. But what James Webb is uncovering isn't just a glitch in the system. It's a cascade of evidence tearing through the fabric of modern physics. It's not just one odd galaxy, one ancient star, or one impossible black hole. It's a symphony of contradictions, each playing louder with every new observation. The standard cosmological model, once thought unshakable, is showing cracks. Galaxies are shining too brightly. Black holes are growing too fast. Cosmic structures appear when there should have been only chaos. Theorists are scrambling. Some propose faster galaxy formation mechanisms. Others whisper about exotic matter that defies gravity as we know it. But beneath all the papers and polite conferences, a silent fear is growing. That the universe we thought we understood never existed the way we imagined. And if the models no longer fit reality, it means reality itself is forcing us to look deeper, far beyond the safe borders we once trusted. In the face of this cosmic upheaval, something even more unsettling is happening, not in the data, but among the people who interpret it. Scientists usually eager to publish revolutionary findings are suddenly cautious. Interviews grow vaguer, papers are delayed, Statements once bursting with excitement are now wrapped in careful, sterile language. Behind closed doors, at private conferences and secret roundtables, the real conversations unfold. Some researchers are admitting it. We don't know what we're seeing. Others fear that rushing these discoveries into the public could ignite chaos, both scientific and philosophical. Because... If the James Webb Telescope is truly showing us structures older than the Big Bang, if black holes and galaxies are appearing where none should exist, then it's not just astronomy that needs rewriting. It's everything. And maybe, just maybe, humanity isn't ready to hear that the universe isn't a clean story with a clear beginning. Maybe the truth is bigger, darker, and stranger than we ever dared to imagine. I mean. As the mysteries pile up, new theories are gaining ground. Ideas that once belonged to the realm of science fiction, but now feel chillingly plausible. One hypothesis whispers that the universe isn't just cyclical, expanding and collapsing like a cosmic lung, but programmable, like a code written into the fabric of space-time itself. Patterns seen in the formation of galaxies the clustering of stars, and even the behaviors of dark matter seem too ordered, too intentional to be mere accidents of chaos. What if the James Webb is picking up not random echoes of a bygone universe, but deliberate fingerprints? What if 
ancient structures survive not by chance, but by design. A cosmic memory, coded into the heart of existence, repeating itself, echoing through each new universe like a message left for those who dare to look deep enough. It sounds impossible, but then again, so did black holes once, so did dark energy, and now, with every image James Webb sends back, the line between theoretical wonder and undeniable reality grows thinner. The final paradox is perhaps the most haunting of all. The James Webb telescope was built to see farther into the past than anything before it, to glimpse the universe in its infancy, but instead it's revealing a universe that looks too grown up. The early universe should have been wild, chaotic, disorganized, and yet we see massive galaxies, intricate structures, and ancient light shining with a maturity that defies explanation. This forces us to ask, are we looking at the universe's birth, or are we staring at the embers of a universe that came before, the scattered bones of a cosmos that never fully died? Some scientists now whisper of cosmic memory residue, the idea that black holes and certain ultra-dense structures carried the weight of an old universe into the new one, bleeding information, matter, and even gravity across the boundary we once called the Big Bang. If true, then James Webb is not just a telescope, it's a time machine aimed not at our beginning, but at someone else's ending. And what it's showing us could be just the first layer of a reality far older, far deeper, and far more terrifying than anything we ever dare to believe. The James Webb Space Telescope was supposed to be our ultimate key, our bridge, to the universe's first moments, to the spark that set everything into motion. But instead, it has revealed something far more unsettling. Not the birth of the cosmos, not the start of everything we are, but the remnants of something older, a shadow of an ancient reality that refuses to be forgotten. Ancient black holes that should not exist. Galaxies are too mature for their supposed age. Structures carved into the fabric of space-time long before there was supposed to be a before. These are not random glitches. These are signs, echoes, warnings. The universe didn't simply start. It may have always been collapsing, rebirthing, leaving behind fingerprints we are only now learning to see. The truth is terrifyingly simple. We have never been at the beginning of anything. We have always been standing in the ruins of something far older, far stranger, and far more powerful than we can yet comprehend. And now, with James Webb's revelations flooding in, we face a question bigger than science, bigger than philosophy. The cool problem is mankind's primp on my face like this? <sighs> Pop psycho. Well, what do you believe? Is James Webb uncovering the true beginning of everything? Or are we just reading the last echoes of an ancient universe long forgotten? Thank you for joining us today on Why. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting why. This is Why signing off.